Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline once again. We love the new intro, or I guess it was the old intro. So I hope everybody has had a wonderful holiday season, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, but y'all, I have so much good news to share with y'all today. Um, first and foremost though, we are going to ignore my hair. She really is trying to embarrass me today and it's working. <laughs> But let's just go ahead and dive in because I'm way too excited to wait. In this last video, I shared with y'all that I am being recalled. I was recalled. I received my recall email the day that I posted this. I had filmed it, I had edited the whole thing, and I was just sitting like on my hands waiting to post it. And then our CEO had announced that that same day, recall letters were sent out in the mail. And so I was like, bing, let's post it. So when I posted this video right here, I actually had gotten my recall email that day. I accepted my recall. I bid for my bases again. I mean, lots of good stuff happened, but since posting that video, more stuff has happened. So super exciting to announce that actually, I believe it was Christmas Eve. It might've been the day before, but I believe it was on Christmas Eve. I received my first paycheck back. <laughs> I was so excited. I'm like, it's official. I got my first paycheck back. Um, the same day that I had posted that video, I got the email that my benefits are reinstated. So there was a lot of good things happening, but I was also asked by a lot of you, they were like, Kat, how are you being recalled and nobody else is being recalled? And everybody else was being recalled. I was just the first to post the video because I was so excited to share it. I was like posting on Instagram. I had posted this photo right here and it started blowing up and everybody was so excited, but they were like, how are you being recalled? And these other people aren't being recalled. But yes, we are all collectively being recalled. We are all so excited, but let's keep the good news going. Guess what is back? Can you guess? Do you know? Do you know? My lipsticks are back. I am so excited to share with y'all. So I actually let Instagram know first. I told them yesterday um, that I was going to be launching. So I announced on my personal Instagram and I also announced on my cosmetic Instagram. So for those of you who are not aware, I actually own my own cosmetic company that is vegan and cruelty free. So right now I actually have lashes in there. I have um, applicators and I also have lash glue in black and in clear and it's just such a vibe i love all of my stuff i also have like big lash packs as well but also a couple months ago i launched my matte liquid lipsticks i launched six shades which i will be going over all the shades again with you as well as i have two new shades that are coming out and i had no idea that y'all were going to sell me out in three to four days Y'all sold me out of every shade, every lipstick. I was shocked. I was packing orders left and right, completely shocked because I really felt like I had a large quantity of lipsticks. And then I blinked and they were all gone. So I tried to quickly order new lipsticks as well as introducing two new shades into the mix. I really, really did try to make everything very affordable. So it's all at a really, really good price. They are so super long wear and if you already got one on the first round you know they are super long wear matte lipsticks now matte lipsticks can be drying like i have said so i like to use a sugar scrub and kind of like moisturize my lips and then you want to apply it to a nice dry lips but just make sure you're like also throwing a moisturizer after you like take it off just to keep your lips hanging in there but they are super long lasting because as a flight attendant i am not trying to change my lip color every hour every 30 minutes it's not happening i need something that's going to be long wear and get me through the day looking fabulous <laughs> okay so really quick before we jump to the shades though i want to also address i did get the packaging fixed so you can hear there's some room. Y'all aren't going to be really like ripping the packaging open. I had told y'all like the last time it was very tight, which makes it great for packing and making sure that nothing gets damaged. But it was very, 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 very inconvenient to actually get the lipstick out, which I was like, oh my gosh. So this time around the packaging looks the same, but it is larger. So you shouldn't have any issues. Go ahead and getting the lipstick on out. I don't want to show it to you yet because that's one of the new shades. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the six original colors and then we'll do the two new ones. So to kick us off with, we have 
Got Your Tongue, which is this really pretty pinkish nude shade. This was like one of my like grab and goes that I absolutely loved. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch of all the colors so you can see it on my skin as well as post a video of what they look like on my lips. Now they do also dry a bit different, which you're gonna notice with one of the new shades. So that's Got Your Tongue and it's so, so, so pretty. My hand is as white as can be. So that's basically the same as like just putting it on paper. <laughs> okay, so the next shade is Purr. So Purr is also a nude shade, but it has more like brownish, more nudie tones, less pink as Got Your Tongue. And this shade as well as Got Your Tongue were the ones that sold out the fastest. They sold out, I think, um, got your tongue sold out within like 12 hours and this one followed suit only a couple hours later So they were both gone like in well less than a day So this has got your tongue right here Which you can see it has like more pinkish notes and this is per right here where it's a little bit more nude a little bit more Brown and obviously as they dry I'll show you them dry versus wet because they do dry a little bit different than they show up wet Okay, so the third shade is Sourpuss. Now this is such a fun color. I had somebody tell me that they weren't sure about the color and then they absolutely loved it on them. So I love when y'all give me feedback on that, but this is such a really pretty pink. This is Sourpuss right here. That's Purr and that's Got Your Tongue, but it just has really, really pretty pink notes to it. And then moving on to our next color. Now this one is called Cat's Meow. And it is Cat's Meow because it is my meow. I love this color. I love a red lip. I love a true red. Y'all see me rocking this one all the time because it's just one of my absolute favorites. And I just feel like everybody can pull a red off. Like a red is just so good. So this is Cat's Meow right here and it is a true cherry red and super pretty now the next color is nine lives so nine lives is this really pretty berry shade i actually wore this shade which i told you on the last video and i got so many compliments when i wore this shade it's such a like blissful berry kind of kind of look to it this is nine lives right here cat's meow sourpuss her and got your tongue so you're kind of seeing how these are are drying a little bit and what those are really looking like and i'll try and even do one where i just like do my hand alone so you can see them when they're all there okay and last but not least on the original six shades is curiosity kills now this is such a pretty wine color i have said it looks a little bit lighter when you actually put it on versus what it is in the bottle but it's this nice burgundy wine shade i think it is so pretty and so fun and this was the other one that sold out so quickly like this was the second choice to the nude so this one sold out fast and this is what it looks like and it's just such a pretty wine shade so you can see that this one the nine lives is much more of a berry whereas the curiosity kills is much more of a burgundy wine shade which is really pretty okay so now let's get into the two newest shades to the cat eye cosmetic collection the first one is a pinkish nude it is very 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 comparable to got your tongue which you're actually going to see in the bottle like in the bottle they look very much alike but they dry down differently but i knew because y'all love that shade i wanted to do something similar but also a little bit different this one is called alley cat and it is such a fun pink but it does dry down darker than got your tongue and it has a bit more of bluish purple notes to it versus got your tongue so it is just this lovely pink shade right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it next to Got Your Tongue so you can really compare the two colors since they are very comparable so you can see the difference between the two. So I'm gonna put Alley Cat at the very top and you're gonna see already it's a little bit darker but when it dries it is going to dry down darker than this and that way you can also see it in comparison to purr right here that purr has more brown notes more tan this has more purpley blue notes and this is like a true pinky pink and i will also show you this when it's dry so you can really see the full color but it is just such a pretty color but i also knew since y'all seem to love those nudes and so many people told me they couldn't even get their hands on the nudes i wanted to add in another nude color to add to the collection because obviously that's something that y'all really like which i really like okay and last but not least the eighth shade the final shade such a different fun shade is going to be 
Cheshire. So Cheshire is going to be such a different shade because when you look at it, it has a shimmer effect. So Cheshire is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it's kind of a mix between the red and the berry with a shimmer to it. It kind of has like that candy apple shimmer, but the color does fall between a red and a berry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here just so you can compare them to the cat's meow and the nine lives i'll stick it right here so you can kind of see what the shade is going to look like but it does have a slight shimmer to it now it's nothing crazy as you can see it kind of gives it even though like it's like a matte liquid lipstick it kind of almost gives it like a little bit of like a gloss effect without a gloss so we'll go ahead and put it right there and that way you can see the difference between it because it really is kind of like a mixture between the berry and the red with a light shine to it so here is the cat's meow and when you hit it in a certain direction it kind of favors that cat's meow whereas when you hit it in another direction it kind of looks more towards the berry but it definitely has like a shine to it okay so these are the shades so now you can see that this one dried a bit so you can see the difference between the three nudes and then all of the new shades. So I did go ahead and order more lipsticks this time around, but I have no idea if they're gonna sell out again, when they're gonna sell out. So definitely go get your hands on them if you want one. So I put all the information down below for you to get there, as well as the website right here on the screen for you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.